So what I want to talk about in the Make Code Minute today is how you can create sub strings within a string of external NeoPixels. So what you'll see here is I have a setup where on my start block I'm calling a function called make strip and that creates a strip of NeoPixels that has uh, 24 pixels on pin A1 and so that's what I've got uh, plugged in here on my Circuit Playground Express. Uh, and then when I go to the next function it says make substrips and what I'm doing is using this set sub and I'm calling it sub zero it's a variable I created to strip so that's the original strip I created from range zero so it starts at pixel zero with five pixels in it so what this is doing is it's treating our single strip like it is four virtual strips so I've set up four of them and what this does is it makes other things you want to do much much simpler so what you'll see uh, is I'll go and light them up that part's not that interesting but then look what happens when I when I hit buttons I'm actually using this NeoPixel rotate command to rotate through a strip but instead of going around the whole 24 pixels before it gets back to one each of those go through their own little sets so watch this as I press the button A on my Neo on my uh, Circuit Playground Express you'll see that I'm passing through all five of those pixels and then back to the beginning as if they're four separate strips. I was able to color them separately, you could animate them separately. Uh, it's a really neat trick that allows you to create fairly sophisticated effects with a very minimal amount of code. And so that is how you can turn a single physical strip of NeoPixels into a set of multiple virtual strips of NeoPixels right inside of Make Code. And that is your Make Code Minute.